Hey, hey, what is up, Andrew? It is YouTube here. We are back with another PayPal request. Can you dig it? <laughs> now this one is from my buddy, Paul Jeffries. Hey, Andrew, I really enjoyed your reaction to my Gary Novak request. The Spotswood comparison really made me laugh. Spotswood comparison. Not sure what that means, but that Gary Novak request was out of this world good. If you have, if you missed that request, get on it. Paul Jeffries knows his stuff. I know this one's going to be good. This time I would like to take a look at a piece from the Valery Stepanov Fusion Project featuring Gergo Borlai. Oh, the Hungarian nightmare. Link to the video here. Valery is basically a musical genius, multi-instrumentalist who gets all these next level players to perform with him. He's a little wacky like most of these genius performers as you'll see in parts of the video, which by the way was filmed separately by the trio in their own home studios. Hope you enjoy the performance and please consider looking at some more Valery Stepanov in the future. Regards, Paul Jeffries. Paul Jeffries, I don't want to pee in your pocket too much, man, but you've got some serious taste. I mean, Gary Novak to Gergo Borlai. So, yeah, I'm sure this is going to be absolutely amazing. Guys, please do make sure that you accent the subscribe button, tap stroke on the like buttons just for the Altube algorithm. Uh, it just keeps things humming along for me on the channel. I'm a little bit excited to get back to some more Gurgo Borlai. And a new artist, Valery Stepanov. <laughs> what? Michael Jackson song? Toto?
it's all in the reflexes. I'm not even ready for that kind of halftime funk feel. Oh, my God. The thing with um, jazz, I brought this up a few times on the channel. Jazz, because it involves improvisation and solos, there's a soloist and then there's comping, right? So the bass and the drums here are comping behind the soloist. It can sound like everybody's soloing at the same time. And you hear people say that, oh, jazz, this when everyone takes a solo at the same time. Well, it's not. They're comping, all right? They're helping, they're supporting the soloist, they're adding to the conversation. You have to think of jazz as a conversation where all three are talking. You do have a soloist who I guess is leading the way. He's basically been given the floor to talk and everyone else is supporting him. And the way that they took that up on that cr crescendo, which I thought was never going to end. And you think, oh, that's the peak. No, they keep going. And then you'll just take it up to another subdivision and it'll just get crazier and crazier. Man, and now we've got this like crushing funk feel. And I mean, you think Gurgo Borla's got chops and then you hear him just play a fat funk groove and you're like, want to die. But I'm going to back it up a little bit. Basis too. Just so tasty. Skis. We're already getting out there, man. <laughs> stop at mid bass solo but that's what i've done remember guys original video link as always in the description of the video if you don't want some bald dude over in new zealand stopping your videos check out the original video it's my strongest recommend you're hurting all of us when you bring down new zealand okay listen to gurgo here i mean this is a drum focus channel so i'm going to focus on the drums the bass solo is mind-blowingly good and the keys are just laying down this pad listen to gurgo simmering this is what we call simmering away here at a low dynamic level, but with loads and loads of intensity. I'll back it up a little bit. Just listen to how he picks things up, picks his shots, just short little accents like a jab, like a boxer, and just simmering away, picking his, picking his shots, man. This is just class. So quiet here. So delicate, but fast.
God. Gurga, wow. what are you doing to me? Basis. Phenomenal. All of them. All right, I'm going to pop down here because that was something quite exceptional. I'm going to subscribe, give it a like, and what can I say? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I want to write that. I'm speechless. Wow. Yeah, I mean, where do you even start? I mean, some videos on this channel are analysis as well as reaction. I do my best, you know, where I can. I'm not even going to start to analyze Gurgo Borlai. I can't analyze Gurgo Borlai. This is many, many steps <laughs> above my pay grade. I can't play anything like Gurgo Borlai. I'm just going to disclaimer, put that out there right now. I think overall, if I had to pick one thing that just fries my brain when it comes to Gurgo Borlai is his control of dynamics, but not only being able to play quiet being able to play loud, sure, great. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But having access to all that facility at those low dynamic volume levels. Obviously, the velocity of your sticks, for most of us mere mortals who are not aliens, that affects how fast we play, right? Gen generally, you know, your speed is going to be relevant, sorry, relative to you know how high the stick is and you know what you've practiced this guy's got access to all of that facility which is miles beyond my facility or in again any any normal human who is not a terminator or is he an alien part man part machine underneath it's a hyper alloy combat chassis cyborg perhaps he's got access to all that speed and facility and control and independence at like a whisper quiet dynamic and then he can just explode and then change gears again and just go into some crazy really bombastic smashing section like with seemingly with ease like there's a certain like violence to his loud parts i don't mean that in, in like a he's a violent person or he's an aggressive person but there's just like this controlled aggression violence explosiveness in the loud parts but the delicate quiet parts as well that just I, yeah he's good at drums oh paul jeffries um i don't know whether to say thank you or or what because this is one of those burn the sticks moments where every time i watch gurgo every time i watch gurgo it's just like Hey, are we going to be inspired by that? Like Grace and Recruitment. Are we going to be inspired or are we going to give up drums? Because <laughs> they're those kind of artists where you're just like, I don't even know this was humanly possible. Um, but yeah, Paul Jeffries, thank you so much for the incredible pick. Guys, if you dug this video, please do consider accenting that subscribe button, a little tap stroke on the like button and leaving a comment with what you thought of it and what I should check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you get access to all the blocked videos. If you have a direct reaction request, those are via the PayPal link. I do my best with non PayPal suggestions as well, but it's just a supply and demand thing. And finally, you as a subscriber of my channel, get access to a free and full 30 day trial over at Drumeo. You can go pick up one of the many thousands of note for note drum transcriptions, or you can learn do a course with one of the world's best teachers and drummers. Oh man, I need a lie down and a chocolate bar after that. That was um, quite something. Guys, until next time, take care. Ciao.